question here says if the lengths of sides a b b c and c of triangle a b c are 10 cm 8 cm and 6 cm respectively and if m is the midpoint of bc and mn is parallel to ab to cut ac at m then the area of trapezium a b m n area of trapezium a b m n is equal to now point to be noted here is that if you look at the sides here what are the three sides of the triangle 10 centimeters 8 centimeters and 6 centimeters look at these three sides 10 8 and 6 these are the three sides of the triangle it should it should strike to you that this will form a right angle triangle this will result in a right angle triangle yes or no because you know one of the popular triplets for pythagoras theorem is 6 8 and 10 6 squared plus 8 squared equals to 10 squared isn't it 6 squared plus 8 squared 36 plus 64 is 100 which is 10 squared so this follows pythagoras theorem and hence we can conclude that is a right angle triangle so if you if you get this idea half of the problem is done you, it will be very easy for you to construct the figure now right so draw the triangle abc let's say this is the triangle abc right so sides are I'll, I'll say this is a let's say a and let's say this is b and c okay abc sides are given 10 8 and 6 right so obviously this will be 10 hypotenuse is always the largest right so this will be 10 now it says m is the midpoint of side bc m is the midpoint of side bc so for the side bc m is the midpoint right so this is m let's take this as m right now m is the midpoint of side bc and mn is parallel to ab mn is parallel to ab what does it mean mn is parallel to ab see you should draw a line from m which is parallel to ab and it cuts ac at n see this this side ac will be cut by that line at the point n and mn is parallel to ab are you getting it mn will be parallel to ab now here you need to recollect the midpoint theorem that we had discussed right in the video of triangles we had discussed uh, two very important theorems one was the basic proportionality theorem and then there was a midpoint theorem what does the midpoint theorem states midpoint theorem states that if we take midpoints of two different sides and draw a line then that line will be parallel to the third side yes or no and in fact it will be half of the third side if you remember right just uh, just recollect that video of triangles where we have discussed theorems right in a given triangle any triangle let's say there is a triangle here pqr if you take the midpoint of pq and the midpoint of pr and draw this this line let's say this is midpoint is uh, x and the midpoint is y then xy will be parallel to qr xy will be parallel to qr and xy will be half of qr xy will be half of qr this is midpoint theorem in in terms of an example right the line joining the midpoints of two sides will be parallel to the third side and it will be half of the third side so clearly here he says mn see m is the midpoint so here he has not given that n is the midpoint here he says m is the midpoint of bc and this line is parallel to ab so obviously n should also be a midpoint it is given a little differently right instead of saying two midpoints are connected he says a line from one of the midpoints is drawn such that it is parallel to the third side so obviously the point n will also be a midpoint you getting it and since ab is 10 we can now conclude that mn is 5 ab is 10 so mn is 5 ab is equal to 10 mn is 5 right now what about the other sides see we know that the three sides are 10 8 and 6 so if this is 10 let us assume ac is 8 ac is 8 this complete length is 8 complete is 8 so if this is 8 and n is the midpoint this side must be 4 and this side also should be 4 Similarly, BC, BC will be the third side 6, total is 6, total BC is 6 and M is the midpoint. So this side has to be 3 and this side has to be 3. What is he asking us to find out? Area of trapezium ABMN. So we have to find out this area, the shaded area ABMN. This area is to be measured. How can you get that area? See, don't worry about the formula. Like I told you, formula is not needed here. You can simply take the area of this trapezium as area of a B M N. It can be taken as area of area of A B C minus area of 
triangle MNC. That's it. You'll get the answer. See this complete triangle ABC from this area. If you subtract this smaller triangle MNC's area, you'll get the remaining area. So what will be the triangle of a area of the triangle ABC? Half into base into height. So half into remember the base is six. Three plus three six into height is eight. Half into six into eight minus area of triangle MNC. MNC is also a right angle triangle, right? This is a right angle, ninety degrees. So area of triangle MNC will be half into base into height. Base is three. MC and height is four. Simplify. So six eight forty eight. Forty eight by two is twenty four. Three four twelve. Twelve by two is six. Twenty four minus six. 18 square centimeter will be the final answer, which is option one.